Hey guys, it's me again. That guy who is over there, not right here, not right there, over there. You don't even know where I am, do you? No, that's really funny. A lot of you don't even know my name. Strange that, how we get attached to people whose names we don't know. Anyway, here we have an engine I've been working, working on for the last uh, day. Finished this in one day. It's uh, you can probably guess from looking at it, especially from the names. We have ship, bullet, follower, option. Wait a second, big core MK12. The core. This is. <gasps> no way. It's a Gradius engine. Amazing. Just a second. Amazing! There's no way you can make a Gradius engine in Multimedia Fusion 2, is there? Apparently there is, and you only need... One, two, three, four, five... You only need five objects to do it. So I made this yesterday, I just got really, really sick of working on the way back. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do something new. I wanted to make a shooter in Multimedia Fusion 2 for a long time, and I thought, you know, it would be really awesome if I made a, a Gradius knockoff. I mean, hopefully I won't get sued for this. It's actually possible that I will, if I release it for, like, money, which I won't. But anyway, this is... I forgot where I was going with that. I got bored, I made a Gradius engine, I wanted to see if you could actually do it, and it turns out you can. You only needed five objects. If you hold shift, you can aim all of your options, just like in Gradius 5. Gradius V, as I call it. Makes a sound effect, just like in Gradius 5. You can clump up your options, they always move in the exact same path that you took. Which I think is pretty awesome. Yeah, you can't die. You can fly right through the darn thing. And yeah, it work, works just like Gradius. You can have up to four options. Actually, you can have infinite ones, but after you have... Oh, no, actually you can only have four. Never mind. So that's the basic engine. I also made a really complicated mode where you can aim at each one individually. So if you're like this, you can go, I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to hold shift again. I'm going to hold shift again. I'm going to hold shift again. And then eventually you aim all of them. But each time you hold shift, you toggle through your options. And the last time you hold it, you can just synchronize all of them. But I thought it was really nifty. Like if you wanted to aim in all directions, you could actually aim all of your options like that, then you'd be completely safe from enemies, except not, but you'd be close, and then you could just spin these around and kill all the enemies, but yeah, that's all there is to it right now, I just got really bored, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna make an engine, I think I already said that like three times, just goes to show how basic and limited this is, so yeah, I'm still gonna be working on the way back, it's just, I just needed a break really badly. So I thought, hey, let me just do this. That's not additive blending, shut up. Yeah, this video is only like two seconds long, so I'm just going to do something real quick. Now will you additive blend? Yes. Ah, uh, it still doesn't look that cool. Huh. I done screwed it up, man. Alright, anyway, I think I've wasted enough of your time. That has been my distraction, as you saw, my Gradius 2 engine. See you next time for more stuff. Yeah, nothing else to say. See ya.